Hello, my name is Glenn Dempsey, Assistant Director of Music of Ely Cathedral and until recently Herbert Howells Organ Scholar of St John's College, Cambridge. Um, I'm sitting here in the organ loft at St John's and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about our recent CD release of music by Michael Finnerty, a cycle called Pious Anthems and Voluntaries. The music was written over a three-year period and in many ways it's a parallel to the history of the college. The premise of the, of the cycle was that um, there would be four votive antiphons from the Renaissance period selected, for example, Dum Transisset by John Taverner, um, which were written around the time of the founding of the college in the 16th century. Each of those pieces is based upon some plain song that was written some hundreds of years before that. And Michael Finnessy's meditation reworkings of these pieces um, reflects the contemporary developments that are taking place across the college today. I'd like to play you a couple of snippets of some of the pieces to give you a little taster of um, Finnessy's harmonic language and the way in which these pieces have been put together. As it turns out, the original premise of the cycle changed a little bit. So um, Finnessy did set uh, um, his own reworking of John Taverner's Dum Transisset and also Talis' Videte Miraculum but the following two pieces that he uh, reworked, reconfigured, turns it out, out in the end to be a cantata by Bach, BWV 96, Herr Christ der Anger Gottes Sohn, a cantata for the 18th Sunday after Trinity, originally premiered in 1724, and Michael Tippett's Plebs Angelica. And uh, the way that the cycle evolved is that uh, there was a choral response to each of these pieces, in the case of Bach, a whole cantata, and then there were organ slash instrumental voluntaries, reimaginings of those where the material uh, was uh, reworked further. So I thought I'd give you an example of the, of the Bach cantata reworking, the chorale at the end of BWV 96 and the chorale at the end of the, of the Finity cantata to give you a flavour of the harmony and the way he reworks it. So first of all I'll play um, the last movement, or a little snippet of the last movement of Bach's cantata, and a harmonic language that we're all familiar with. Finnessy, on the other hand, took a slightly more contemplative text from the chorale and set it a little bit higher and with rather different introspective harmonies. It was a fascinating process collaborating with Michael over three years and seeing the cycle develop. Um, I remember when I first um, played his first organ piece, the double on Dum Transisset, I was a little bit perplexed when he asked me if I could just change one or two of the chords in it. But then two years later, um, it all became clear when other pieces emerged and you know you could hear these sound worlds unifying the whole cycle. And indeed chords like the last one you heard in various trance positions throughout the, throughout the piece. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Dum Transisset, just to, just to illustrate this reworking of, uh, of the original Taverner piece. Um, Dum Transisset is the uh, response to the third lesson um, at Matins on Easter Day, and if you listen to Taverner's um, original version, you can hear almost metaphorically the, the, st the stone rolling away from the tomb and you know, sunlight shining in um, as Jesus was risen from the dead. Um, this is the start of the taverner. He 
he plays a slightly longer ball game than his Sunrise. Um, he starts with a very, he starts with bottom G and the base is pianissimo, and the texture gradually builds from the bottom up um, until there's a five part texture rather like the Taverna, um, but with his own harmonic style. Here's, the, here's just the beginning of it. So you can hear that there are little little snippets from the original um, taverna that have been reworked and moulded in this kind of rather more modern harmonic idiom. And that's taken one step further in the organ pieces. I'm now going to play for you a little, perhaps the first two thirds of the organ reworking of Dum Transiset. Um, it's structured um, in such a way as to have the material that you've just heard from the choral version in at the beginning, and then there are large sections um, where you've just got chords um, that are played for a long time, followed by rests that last quite a long time. And again, as he spoke about sitting in this chapel and looking at the way that the light comes in through the windows, and as the sun moves, moves around, the light is refracted slightly differently and you get different colours in different bits of the chapel. And I think that's rather the same with these chords, and DT said that that was his intention. So you hear chords that have got um, notes are really quite close to each other, kind of semitonal juxtapositions. And then, and then you've got a rest, and then in the next one it's like the light is just filtered slightly in different directions. So you might take out one semitone and add another one. And then after that you go back to this opening material, but in a more contemplative um, setting. Um, so I'll just play the first two thirds of this piece.
So I hope that gives you a little insight into the genesis of this fantastic new music. Um, the CD's out now uh, on Signum on the St John's Cambridge imprint, Pious Anthems and Voluntaries, and I hope you enjoy listening.